Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. So today, as you see, we have completely uh, gone to the end of the game. This is where the final four is. And uh, yeah, I've basically beaten this game. Um, I've gone ahead and beat through the final four. Not on this technical uh, game file, because due to the game being like... I don't even know, but for some, for some reason, once you beat the final four, you know, it takes you back to the main menu. You can't, uh, my save file is actually, like, corrupted or something, so I can't actually just load the save file. I have to use save states. But regardless, we have, uh, a whole bunch of, we have, a you know, my final party is in my party right now. <laughs> These are the Pokemon that didn't make it. These are the Pokemon that I ended up catching, but never used. Um, uh, so yeah, Weeping Bell, whatever, didn't. Thought he'd be my grass Pokemon, but then I ended up getting a much better grass. You saw me catch that Magmar. Um, we ended up did not using the Arbok. My starter, my camera up, to ended up getting uh, knocked out by a better fire Pokemon. Cast form. Yeah, fucking Venusaur didn't even make the final team. That just shows you how good this final team I really it really is. Um, fucking Skarmory, he wasn't actually, uh, he wasn't a Pokemon that I caught legitimately. He, uh, I caught him for a Fly Slave. I didn't never use him in battle once. Um, fucking Blaziken. I had him for a while. Actually, I caught him basically right after the last video. Uh, the fourth video that I posted. I caught him, and he's the one that replaced, uh, Camerupt. And yeah, I caught a better Fire Pokemon. Someone who replaced Blaziken. I caught a Fralligator. Um, I decided to go with Swampert over Fralligator, um, but yeah, Iggly Buff, and then we ended up getting rid of Walreen. Basically, yeah, these are some really good Pokemon. Like you could basically take this these Pokemon here and make a really good team out of them. Like you could take Venusaur, Blaziken, Fralligator, like Walreen, Weeping Bell, or you don't even need Weeping Bell, but you know, you can make a pretty good team out of just what what's here, you know. Um, but Let's go ahead and show you my final team. Um, so as you see, yeah, we, we ended up get, getting um, Blaziken as a starter for Alligator. So we got, you know, these two, Venusaur. The funny thing is, we actually ended up getting a full set of third gen starters. Um, <laughs> I actually was rolling around with a while for a, f a full set of all three. Yeah, you can see here... Um, I ended up catching a uh, the, one of these guys, the you know the ev evolution of Trico. He basically is my main grass Pokemon. Of course, I already had Swampert, and then Blaziken I did have, but I replaced Blaziken with, of course, fucking Charizard. I ran into a fucking Charmeleon and uh, catch caught him at level like 34. Four or thirty-three, or what well, says right? Says right there, thirty-one. All right, so yeah, I caught him at level thirty-one, and then I uh, evolved him, and yeah, dude, what a beast! Just what a beast. Um, this team is really stacked. I made sure that you know the my, my weakest link, honestly, is Haunter. I thought Haunter would be better. I think I might have just got a bad Haunter because his I think his stats might just be shit or something. Um, his special attack's really high, obviously, and his speed is too, but. Like, I don't know, he just, he's so weak, special defense is just so low that he just can't stand, like, he just gets destroyed in one attack by most Pokemon in the Elite Four, but, you know, we have him around still because I love him, um, but, you know, our, that Elect Kid we had eventually evolved into an Elect, Electabuzz, and, yeah, we basically ended up teaching him Thunder and Thunderbolt, and, uh, basically, yeah, he, we ended up having him be our Rock Smash Slave, but... He's basically electric and normal type. Um, that's just all there is to it. Although he isn't normal type, but you know what I mean. He has a normal move, so that's the only other thing he can do. Um, he's pretty good, and he's level 56. He ended up being basically the main Pokemon that I used to clear out the Elite Four. Besides for Charizard, I guess, because he's the kind of Pokemon you can just leave in at any time, and he can just take out anybody, basically. Um, and I ended up teaching him Earthquake. It's a really good, strong move for him. Um, Flamethrower is his main fire move. He knows Fly, because he's my Fly Slave. That's the main reason when I saw him, I was like, oh, great, I can just use him as my Fly Slave from now on, instead of having to carry around Skarmory. Um, but, yeah, really good, really good Pokemon, obviously. I mean, an OP 2.0, for a reason. And, uh, I can show you the, the attacks that my Haunter has. <clears throat> uh, so, ended up teaching him Psychic. A uh, very effective Psychic move, obviously, but he still has the whole Hypnosis Dream Eater combo. 
And then he has Shadow Ball, because Shadow Ball is uh, basically the most powerful ghost move uh, type, power, you know, special attack in, at least, uh, from what I see, um, from what I had access to, at least. And, yeah, we had uh, Swampert, which, of course, Surf, Waterfall needed those two uh, HMs, and uh, Totemice Beam, uh, just to kind of fill that gap that was left by Walreen. Walreen used to be our main ice Pokemon, but... Since we needed to fill us, you know, basically get another Pokemon in the party, we had to get rid of him, so I had to teach him Ice Beam. Um, I had to get rid of all, of the, you know, all the ground moves he had before, for fucking Waterfall, because I needed that HM. And then Nidoking, he could have ended up better. I feel like he definitely wasn't nowhere near as powerful as I thought he would end up being. Maybe because he's a little under-leveled, he's only 51 compared to the rest of them, but... I think it's mostly his moveset is kind of trash, um... I mean, Hyper Beam, I taught him that, uh, PP'd that up a little bit so I had more chances to use it, and it's a really powerful move, obviously, but whatever, it's it's Hyper Beam, you know how that works. Um, then you have Thrash, which is whatever, it's a powerful normal move, but it's nowhere near as powerful as Hyper Beam. Double Kick, kind of the only, you know, regular attack he can use without, you know, wasting a Hyper Beam or getting confused by Thrash, and then Peck, which it's flying, so whatever. Um, and then, yeah, this guy, he's really fast. His speed is super high, um, which is awesome, but, eh, he could be stronger. I honestly, I, I thought about really going Venusaur, because I thought Venusaur would be, end up being better, but, for some reason, I just liked the idea of him more. For, for once, one thing, he's not Slash Poison, which we already have two Slash Poisons already with Haunter and Nidoking, so I didn't want to add another Slash Poison and all that but enough talking let's go take on the final four with, with this team um let's go ahead and slide our main stunner up front here um actually we could probably roll with nitto king up front with this first fight because he he's a dark trainer so fighting moves fairly effective actually i'm not sure i don't even know let's just fight I forget what what all he has, but it's because it's actually been a while since I played this game. I I ended up uh, finishing up the final four like three days maybe after I ended up finishing uh, the doing those four videos, and uh, now it's been like three weeks, <laughs> so it's been a while since I've even played this game. Um, but you know, yeah, I'm fucking Nitto King, he's pretty cool looking. Go ahead and double kick him. It, this fire first fight's kind of RNG, you know. It's uh, this whole entire game is RNG, uh, but this this fight right here is kind of random. Of course, he's, he's going to sand attack, so that's going to make things fun. I always just double kick because it's uh, you know it's super effective, so might as well. And hopefully we'll get through this. I'm not going to speed anything up early because I'm scared that you know the whole frame rate thing might happen, but. Double Edge is pretty strong, but you got that recoil, and he's going to heal. It's pretty much all that kind of mile away. I mean, that's kind of how this game works. Is Oh, you've, you've damaged him to a point where he's about to die. Oh, heal, full heal. But we're getting the job done. Wow, crit, critted on that second there. Sand attack, fantastic. You know, you just love that uh, that cheap accuracy. Eh, what are you gonna do about it, though? And that recoil, I thought might be able to kill him, but no, nowhere near that much. That will finish him off for sure. Now, oh, I've somehow managed to glitch the frame rate. But regardless, we are going to change our Pokemon. If the frame rate wouldn't stop failing, all right, I didn't even see what he was going to send out, so when in doubt, <laughs> Charizard. OP1 coming out, OP2.0 going in. It's probably going to okay, wow, perfect perfect matchup here. Flamethrower it up. Take, out, take him out in one hit very easily. I mean, come on. Almost 10 levels higher than him, and yeah, <laughs> Charizard. So yeah, this this trainer is uh, dark, and most of his Pokemon aren't fully dark type because you know that's not a very common type. 
didn't see what he was going to send out again. I'm just not paying attention. I'm more focused on saying stuff. Honestly, let's just go out with uh, Swampert. I don't even really care. Just someone that I know is reliable overall. Won't fail me in my time of need. Alright, yeah, it was, a good, it was a good idea to get Charizard out of there. Because this Applesol, I believe, knows Rock Slide or some something. Let's just surf it. It's the easiest way to take this thing out. Yeah, I was about to say, what? <laughs> Crit. Okay. So, I could leave Froggy in and hopefully... Okay, I'm going some... Uh, these are these are what I would, what, what I would call YOLO strats. <laughs> you only live once, man. We gotta go for this. <clears throat> I do not use the term YOLO, by the way. I just... Yes. Yes. That will, uh, that, he could have took me out very, oh, fuck, are you kidding? What? That's, oh, oh, my God. Well, I have completely fucked up. <laughs> Cotton Spore, nothing. Fantastic. Well, I would have fucked up if he would have actually used, you know, an, a move that would have damaged me. But, basically, yeah, if he would use a Grass-type move, I'm four times, that's four times damage right there, so I would have been killed in one, one basically one hit, but, eh, I, I could have used other, other strategy, but whatever. I'm just gonna hit him with all I got. This should kill him, even though it's not very effective. No, wow. Believe it or not, that's crazy. Well, of course you're gonna use Cotton Spore easy move to uh, not care about. Just lowering my speed. Yeah, I'll take him out. Oh, well. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Alright, for this, that's pretty much why I switched out to Elect Buzz because I figured he probably had to use this next. And you're dead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the first guy down. He's really easy. He's obviously not supposed to be that hard. He's the first guy. And he looks like that. Which, I don't even... What? Speed up that. Stupid game. Breaking your frame rate. 